The Copy and Move tools are used to create copies and move elements. You can find both tools in the Home tab in the Manipulate group. In this lesson, you will learn the Copy tool and the Move tool. Start MicroStation Connect Edition and on the work page, set the following. Workspace, Bentley Connect Training. Work Set, MS Basics. Click Browse and open learning.dgn from the backslash MS Basics backslash DGN backslash 07 Manipulating Elements folder in the course dataset. By default, the dataset is installed at C colon backslash Bentley Connect Training backslash Worksets. Open the Models dialog by clicking the Models icon on the Home tab in the Primary group. Open the Move and Copy Element model by double-clicking it in the list. Close the Models dialog. You will manipulate the elements on the right according to the examples on the left. Zoom into the cyan lines at the top. Select the Copy tool in the Home tab in the Manipulate group and in the Tool Settings, set the number of copies to 5. Snap to the line on the right. Move the cursor to the right and press Enter to lock the cursor on the axis. Key in 8 to define the distance and enter a data point to accept. Note how five copies are created of the original element. Reset to complete. That was a quick demonstration of how you can use the copy tool not only to give you one but many copies of the same element. This is a very handy function to have. In the next example, we'll demonstrate how copy works with AccuDraw to get the results desired. Let's zoom to the second set of red elements and select copy again. Make sure the key point snap is active and select the circle on the right by snapping to its center point. Snap to each corner points of the block to copy the circles. Reset to complete. The Move tool is closely related to the Copy tool, so let's give it a try to move the original circle to the center point of the block. Select the Move tool and again snap to the center point of the original circle on the right. In the AccuSnap Snap Mode button bar, click once on the center snap icon to activate it temporarily. We move the cursor to one of the sides of the block and click there. The circle is placed exactly in the center of the block. Note that when using the center snap, you must click on the element itself, not near its center point. As a final exercise, let's use the Move tool and the AccuSnap and AccuDraw operations to relocate the circle in the third set of elements so they line up with the corner of the object just where we need to put it. Zoom to the green elements at the bottom. Select Move and ensure that the key point snap is active and snap to the center point of the green circle. To be able to move the circle to exactly the right location in one action, you will recall the AccuDraw compass in a helpful reference point on the midpoint of the upper line. Move the cursor with the circle to the snap point at the middle of the upper line, but do not click there. Just make sure the yellow X is displayed in the snap point. Let's make sure the AccuDraw dialog has the input focus. If not, press the F11 key to move the focus there. Next, we press the O for Origin key to move the AccuDraw compass to the new location without committing to a data point. This will place the origin of the AccuDraw compass on the snap point. Now you can use AccuDraw to define the exact distance relative to this reference point. Move the cursor downwards and press Enter to lock the cursor on the axis. Key in 14 and accept with the data point. The circle is placed at the exact location we want. In this lesson you learned the Copy tool and the Move tool.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.